Every two hours and 47 minutes, a person is shot in Chicago, and every 13 hours and 37 minutes, a person is murdered, which there's been about 600 murders in Chicago for the year of 2023 so far, which is about 87 murders down from last year. And through the months of October through November of 2023, there was over 20 gang members that died. I got exclusive information about how they died, where they died, and the reason of their death. Oh my October 3rd, 2023, Demer J. Brands, aka Baby Lou, from the Sand Gang set. He was also from KMG. At around 5.50 p.m., he was on the sidewalk in the 4900 block of West Madison Street. When he was suddenly struck in the head by gunfire, he was taken to Stroger's Hospital in critical condition where he died at only the age of 16. This would be the fourth loss for Sang Gang this year. Only about an hour later, another gang member would be killed. At about 7 p.m., Marcus Small, aka Black Boy, from the OBN set, was in the 100 block of East 36th Street. When he was found by officers with multiple gunshot wounds, he was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead at the age of 33. Then on October 10th, 2023, 28-year-old Jermaine Waltons, aka WAP from AAB set, was at the Speedway in the 1400 block of South Cicero when police responded and found him unresponsive laying on the ground. Paramedics attempted to provide medical assistance, but Watkins was pronounced dead in the ambulance at about 8.50 p.m. Officers found many shell casings around the scene. They also interviewed witnesses and viewed security video, determining that the shots were fired from a silver SUV driving east from the scene on Methonian Turnpike. Then on October 22, 2023, Kyle Collins, aka 40 from the Goontown set slash MMG, was sitting in a parked vehicle just before 6 p.m. in the 800 block of 71st Street when someone fired multiple shots at him. He was struck in the neck and was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he died at the age of 35. He was also in SMB hood when he got shot. This was the second loss for Goontown in 2023. Then only the next day on October 23rd, 2023, a Most Brown aka King Snoop from the Ghost Mob TNG set was walking on the sidewalk in his own hood at about 8.10 p.m. in the 800 block of North Laverne Avenue. When he was shot in the head, he was taken to Stroger's Hospital in critical condition where he died at only the age of 32. Then only the next day on October 24th, 2023, a guy of the name of Caven Turner, aka Baby Skate, from the Ducci Way set, was in the 6700 block of Southeastern Avenue when a shot spot alert went off. When the police responded to the shot spot alerter, they found him unresponsive with gunshot wounds to the head. Unfortunately, he was pronounced dead at the scene at only the age of 19. Right after his death, the ops went to social media dissing him. One post says, it's all fun and games till them tables turn. So my guess is, this guy was actually putting in work. But on October 30th, 2023, a 16-year-old boy will lose his life. Amir McMullen, aka Amir, from the Screwboy set, was in a parking lot in the 1900 block of East 87th Street at about 3.55 p.m. when he was shot in the back and right leg. He was then taken to Coma Children's Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 5.47 p.m. The alleged ops also went to social media after his death and commented laughing emojis under his post. Then only about 35 minutes later, another alleged gang member would lose their life. It was about 4.30 p.m. when Joseph Kelly was on the sidewalk in the 800 block of North Trumbull Avenue when he was shot in the head and was pronounced dead at the scene at only the age of 21. Only two days later on November 1st, 2023, a girl that was only 25 that was an active gangbanger would lose her life alongside of a guy that was only 19. Desiria McGee, aka D Money from the Hardy Way set slash E Block, and Denardo Buford, aka Lil Deuce from Foster Park, was in a parked car in the 8300 block of South Dorchester Avenue when two assailants fired multiple shots before running away around 12.40 a.m. They were both struck multiple times and was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where they both was pronounced dead. They were in the car in mixed mobs hood. 
and the girl Deep Money was a very active member for a set and she was close to TW, STL, and Gyro City. But on that same day on November 1st, 2023, Zachary Mack aka Zach from EJ World was found with multiple gunshot wounds in the 500 block of West 120th Street around 4.35 p.m. He was taken to Christ Medical Center in Oakland where he was pronounced dead and he was apparently exiting his white Lexus in front of his house in Jeezy Gang's hood when four occupants pulled up and started shooting. November 4th, 2023, three men would die in this next incident. Derek Bird aka Blue Eyes slash Bird from D-Block 107. Then two other guys named Curry L. Devon Parks, 29 years of age, and 19-year-old Hugo Gallardo Jr. were all found shot. Derek Bird and Curry L. Devon were found shot inside the Red Dodge SUV, while 19-year-old Hugo was found shot outside the SUV. They were found in the 3100 block of West 39th Place at around 1.10 a.m. They were all pronounced dead at the scene, and a guy of the name of Jesus Franco, 19 years of age, was charged with the murder. Then only the next day on November 5th, 2023, 29-year-old Jarville Miller, aka King Bravo from the Shield set, was standing in the alley around 1 a.m. in the 5600 block of South Wabash Avenue when someone in a black sedan fired shots. He was then taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. When he was shot, he was inside an alley in MOB's hood. Then only 15 minutes later, around 1.15 a.m., Edward Wilcox, aka Red from Camp City, was also in the alley in the 300 block of East 59th Street when a black sedan pulled up and shot him multiple times in the back. He was also taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead too. He was allegedly in 600's hood when he died. Unsure if these murders had any connection with each other, but they was only 15 minutes apart. The next day, November 6, 2023, 29 year old Shia Clark, aka White Boy, from the Moose Block East End set, was in the 8900 block of South Justine Street at around 12.09 p.m. when he was shot in the head and was dead on the scene. Allegedly, the ops went straight to social media, dissing him in the comments. In this next situation, another person would be charged after the murder. It was the next day on November 7th, 2023. Jeremiah Pruckler, aka Lil J from the Cutter Gang slash BBMG set, was in the 2900 block of South State Street around 7.20 p.m. when someone fired shots, striking him in the head. Jeremiah was taken to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he died at the age of 20. Quentin Buchanan, 25 years of age, was charged for the murder. Then on the same day around the same time, around 7.20 p.m., Kashawn Tyler from the same gang slash KMG set was on the sidewalk in the 800 block of East 83rd Street. When someone shot him in the abdomen, he was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead at the age of 28. This was the sixth loss for Sang Gang in 2023. Eight days will go past before another gang member will lose his life. It was November 16th, 2023. Kenneth Sandy, aka Ken Ben from the Blake Block slash Lope City set, was fighting with another person who pulled out a handgun and shot him around 2 p.m. in the 1600 block of West Howard Street. He was shot in the torso and was pronounced dead at the scene. Allegedly, they was fighting over a girl, which allegedly he was fighting with another Lope City member. Then the next day, on November 17th, 2023, Jeremiah Davis, aka Ugg Mo slash D-Ball from the MBAM set, was found shot in the first block of East 110th Street. At around 10.35 p.m., he was shot in the torso and was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. He was only 26 years of age at his death. November 22nd, 2023, Malik Washington, aka Midget Mock, from the Chop Block set was in the 2500 block of West 63rd Street when someone shot him in the head and the body. He was taken to Christ Medical Center in Oakland where he died from his injuries. The news report says he was about 27 years of age. This next person would die on the same day on November 22nd, 2023. I couldn't find any news reports on this guy, but his name was Kevin Black from the Coopville A1G set. All I could find was his obituary of how his life went. Then for this last member, he would die from an overdose. He died on November 25th, 2023, and his name was DeAndre Eggiston, aka OTF Scrap from the JTBT set. My prayers and condolences go out to the families and the people that lost their life throughout these months. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like, 
or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.